Bedtime Stories. Have your brush your teeth? Are you ready for your bedtime story? Tonight, we are reading the photographic elephant. There was once an elephant who wanted to be a photographer. How his friends would laugh when they heard him talk about it. How silly, said some, there aren't any cameras for elephants. What a waste of time, others would say, there's nothing to photograph here anyway. But the elephant kept following his dream. Piece by piece, he managed to cobble together some old bits of junk and some spare parts. And ended up with a camera of sorts. With this camera, the elephant had to design practically everything himself. From a button he pressed with the end of his trunk, to a lens made to fit an elephant's eye. To a load of wrought iron used to make a frame so the elephant could attach the camera to his head. When it was all finished, he could finally get to taking his first photos. However, the elephant camera was so enormous and strange looking that it seemed like some huge ridiculous mask. So many people laughed as he went by that. The elephant began to think of abandoning his dream. Even worse, it was beginning to look like those who had said there was nothing to photograph there had been right. But things worked out differently. The sight of the elephant walking about with the camera on his head was so funny that no one could help but laugh when they saw him. And, using a great deal of good humor, the elephant managed to take some really amusing, incredible pictures of all the animals. In his photos they always looked joyful. Even the moody rhino. So the elephant managed to become the official savanna photographer. Animals would come from every direction to have some nice photos taken for their passport to the zoo. Despite what they say, the elephant decided to try his dream of being a photographer. Do you realize that sometimes we give up a good idea even without having tried it? Has this happened to you before? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good night and sweet dreams.